Hi guys, Colin here from Compass Physio in Castle Comer. So today I just wanted to quickly talk about why we should treat our bodies like they're engines of a car uh, or a motorbike or even a normal road bike. Um, a lot of people spend more money on their car, servicing their car, than they do on uh, their body. Um, now we've only got one body and we go through lots of cars in our lifetime. But generally if a warning light comes on in a car or a motorbike or whatever, a piece of machinery you're using you'll get it checked out uh, if you don't get it checked out it'll break down it's as simple as that uh, trust me on that one i've got experience in this um but generally you need to get your uh, car checked out you go to the mechanic he checks it out he fixes it and you go on from there what i'm trying to say is your body gives you signals like this all day every day so a couple of examples of that would be you wake up stiff and sore after a specific task that you do at home and it happens every time you do the task so what we're suggesting is um you book in to see the physio we identify how you're doing the task and we change that so you don't wake up stiff and sore every day because waking up stiff and sore is not normal after doing certain activities fair enough if you're after running a marathon that's a different story okay so to give you a couple of examples uh, i've wrote them in the blog and they're basically like so as we said if you wake up stiff you need to start stretching okay as uh, humans were essentially made up of the same stuff that animals are i suggest this every day and um, what we want to do is we want you to start stretching more okay uh, if your clothes don't fit you anymore instead of going to the shop and buying a uh, new clothes the next size up start doing some exercise start looking at your habits start changing uh, how you eat okay and um, uh, that's not going the same for pregnant ladies that's a completely different issue uh, obviously they need to get bigger clothes but i'm not going to get into that because i'll get myself in trouble okay so essentially if your clothes don't fit you just try and make them fit so what that means is you need to change your habits when you're looking at losing weight it's 80 20 i don't care what any diet says it's 80 percent of what you put in your mouth and 20 percent of what you do as regards exercise okay because if you get injured or you stop exercising the weight's just going to come back so it has to be sustained habits over a long period of time okay the next one is if you're feeling stressed or anxious uh, exercise is a really good key uh, to help you with stress or anxiety that sort of stuff speak to a counselor start doing some meditation there's lots of different avenues you can go down for this but stress and anxiety are warning lights that your body is giving you to tell you there's something wrong in the environment you're living in very same as a car so if you have those warning lights you can do something about them okay uh, if you're getting a recurring injury so you're playing sport or you're doing running and you keep getting say achilles tendonitis or whatever it may be a fact to do with your biomechanics so check in with your physio at compass physio we're in tully allen we're in uh, castle comer so we're able to help you with those sorts of injuries uh, because we can identify the problem rather than you just trying to push through the pain get injured, get frustrated, can't do the race, and you're just ignoring the symptoms that your body is giving you, the signals your body is giving you, okay? Uh, if you're tired all the time, you know, if if you're over, say, 40 years old, and you haven't had a health checkup in the last two years, uh, it would be really advisable to go see your GP to get a blood pressure, um, a uh, full review of all uh, smears and all that sort of stuff that you need to get do uh, do for women's health and the same for guys uh, you need to check yourself out regularly so all these things are really important that you do regular maintenance on you regularly uh, get checkups uh, with your gp so you know that's blood pressure bloods you know and even just your mental well-being as well so if you haven't made an appointment with your gp you're over 40 and you haven't done one in the last two years i highly recommend that you do one uh, asap really because the big thing with all of this is early intervention leads to a better outcome with all healthcare uh, related issues okay so if if you have a toothache don't don't, don't keep taking norovin make an appointment with the dentist if you know someone who's complaining of a toothache the last week Tell them to go see their dentist today, okay? If you know someone who is straining to see the television like this or straining to read a computer screen, get them an eye test. Get that organized, okay? So I can't emphasize enough, guys, the importance of early intervention, listening to what your body is telling you and trying to do stuff that promotes uh, good health in a positive way, okay? 
if you're not sure where to go we have lots of um, contacts with lots of different healthcare pro uh, professionals all over the place so if you're not sure make an appointment to come see us we can have a chat discuss it and we can go from there if you need to make an appointment you can make one on compass physio the website you can make one on facebook online or you can call the number 056-440-7995 and that works for both clinics in tully allen and in Castle Comer. And as always, any questions, just give us an email, info at compassphysio.ie. Thanks very much and have a great evening.